First thing is a safe place to land we're going to locate. So if we have anything go wrong, a safe place to land we've got right ahead of us looks perfect. That doesn't look too good. That marshy. is kind of like a marsh and mushy. So straight ahead I'd say is the best bet. Yep. Or over towards the south of Stansbury Island is a lot more um, compact it looks like. And then what we're going to do now is our clearing turn. So you're going to turn 90 degrees to the right. Okay. Then I'm going to check for other traffic going this way. Yep. So you can start that turn now. And just stay at this altitude, so I'm going to be looking. I'll just do my little scan. And then now you can turn to your left. And I'm going to have you check for traffic. All right. On your left to see if there's anybody out there. I'm not seeing anyone. No. Okay, now I'm going to make a radio call. Two Valley Traffic Car Trace on 5 Zero Echoes. We'll be maneuvering to the east of Stansbury Island. We're going to be at 7,500 feet and below Two Valley Traffic. Okay, so now we're going to go back down to our altitude. Yep. And our Gumps checklist, we're going to start that. We're just going to go right into the power on. Alright, C Gums, we're going to go for carb heat. So actually, we're going to just do the takeoff. We're going to do the power, uh, power on stall on. first. Yep. So get configured for power. Here, I'll take it. My controls. Your controls. My controls. I'm just going to do a demonstration for you, okay? Yep. So I'm going to start pulling the power back. I'm going to hold that 7,500 feet, okay? Now, I'm just picking a point. I have that point, that mountain peak right out there. Uh -huh. I'm just going to fly right at that, okay? Yep. I'm not even going to look at my heading indicator. So I'm going to hold that. Now I'm going to adjust my trim a lot for me. Are you pitching it forward or back? I'm pushing back. Yep. On the, um, I'm pitching it so it's going up in the air. Because we're dropping. When you take out that power, you gotta pitch up for that. Okay. So my trim is set. Now I'm gonna turn on my landing light. That's on. Fuel pump, do you wanna turn that on? Yep. Okay, so now we're configured for landing. We're on our runway. Now I just need to slow it down, right? So I'm gonna slow it down to that 70 knot. I'm going to pull back. You can see I'm dropping a little bit, so I'm just going to pull back. you got to pull back quite a bit for these guys. There's 70 knots, so I'm going to push forward, right rudder. And I'm going to go up in the sky. You see how excessive this pitch bank is, this angle? And then, do you feel that shaking? Yeah. That is a stall, so now we're going to lower the nose. And that was the little buffet. Then I'm going to pull back. And then, boom. I didn't hit my airport. You did not hit your airport. How is that? It's not too scary. I mean, I, I could think of a thousand things I like more than that, but uh, exactly, it's, it's good to learn. <laughs> it's good to learn, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so that's your power on. Now I'm going to kind of flip around towards the north over here. Yep. I'm going to go back down to my altitude. So did you see how I just dropped the nose? Yeah. And did you feel it shaking? Yep. That's called a buffet. So are we waiting for the buffet or are we waiting for the stall warning? Um, I like to go into a full stall, so I like to look for that buffet okay. and feel for it. But if the stall warning horn goes on, obviously, if that happened and you were coming in or if you are taking off, yeah, that's a sign. Yeah. yeah. That's one of them. I'm going to teach you to get into a fuller stall. And then when I was climbing, I had a right rudder. Okay. Okay, so this is the power off stall, okay? So I've got my heading. I'm going to actually turn it a little bit to the left. I've got a mountain peak out there to my left. Right, actually ahead of me. So, 
Now I'm at my 7,500 feet. And everything else, so landing lights already on, fuel pumps on, carburetor heat, that goes on. Okay. So we have all of our C gumps. Everything's looking good. Carp heat gear, gas, undercarriage, mixtures all set. Fuel pump is on, switches, seat belts, you're good. So it's just like we're coming to land. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm within flaps range, so I'm gonna add my first notch of flaps, okay? There's my first one. And I'm gonna add my second one. And I'm gonna add my third one. Okay, and then I'm gonna hold this out too. I'm gonna pull the power back all the way to idle, okay? We're all set up for it. Now the power's all the way out right now. And then there's that shake, so the nose goes forward, full throttle, and then I'm gonna do car heat off, give us some more power. And you can see we dropped 100 feet. Now we're going back up. I'm at my VX, my 64 knots. So we've got a positive rate of climb, right? Yep. So I'm gonna do first notch flaps out, and we barely even drop. Second notch flaps going out. There's my altitude. I'm gonna start to level off here. Yep. And there's a decrease in vertical speed. I want an increase. And there's an increase. Third notch is out. Landing light off. Fuel pump is off. So you can go ahead and click that guy. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, do you want to give it a shot? I mean, I have to. We're going to have to have you do it. Okay, yeah. your controls. I control. Your controls. Just stay on this heading, okay? Okay. So, I was picking that little mound. You see it's kind of off in the distance a little ways. Yeah. For our heading. And then go ahead and take back that power. Let's do our power on, okay? Yeah. Just like we're taking off. We're bringing it up. Traffic, Mooney, one, one, seven, one, three, so we're going to simulate yeah. that seven, our airfield is at 7,500 feet. Eight, Good. You're taking the power back. All the way off? North, um, not all the way off. Nope. Right, right, just there. keep it right about there. Yep. And then you're going to set up. So you're going to do your before takeoff checklist. So you're going to have to turn on your landing light. All right. The uh, sea gums, carb. So that's for landing. Oh, we're doing our takeoff. We're doing the takeoff on it. Yeah. Okay, so landing light on, fuel pump on. Good job. Yep. Perfect. Okay, now watch your altitude. You're going to need yep. to pull back quite a bit. And then you're going to notice as you hold that altitude. Keep pulling up. Yep, you're fine. And then you're going to get to 70 knots really quickly here. And then give it full power. Okay, full power. Okay, now pitch back. Pretty accessible. Good. Keep it coming. Right about there. Give it a little bit of right, right. Perfect. Just like that. Now you're coordinated. Now keep it coming back. Keep it coming back. Now, do you feel that shaking? Yep. Okay, lower the nose. Okay, your nose drops below the horizon. Now, look at that. You're totally fine. Cool. You recovered in 300 feet. That's plenty of altitude. Did I, See beat, how... did I beat you? Oh, you totally beat me. <laughs> you nailed it. Then do your landing light and your fuel pump off. All right, landing light, fuel pump off. You did it. And then that actually goes up in auxiliary pump side. Just sits in the middle. Oh, nice. Good. Okay, Power nice back. job. Power back a little bit. We're keep climbing. Yep, and then we can do the, um, let's turn a little bit out towards that little smokestack now, that we're away from these mountains. Yeah, that's not that scary. No, that's not bad at all. See, so they're not um, hard. I'm going to have you descend back down to your 752. Yep. Let me go back down to your altitude. No, it's not scary. It's good to learn, though. It's scary when you're close to the ground. Right. Uh, because things happen a lot quicker at slower air speeds and lower altitudes, but that's why we train you. Yeah. Biggest thing is just get that nose below the horizon. So pick a mountain peak out there, okay? Alright. And we're going to set up for your power off. I'm going to pick that big prominent guy. Good. Okay. Alright. I'm going to make a radio call really quickly, just let people know while you're descending. Two mile traffic car trade, 750 echoes north of Stansbury Island, maneuvering 7,500 feet and below. Two wheel traffic. Okay, we'll look out for other traffic now. And see if there's anybody out here. Isn't this beautiful? I think it's so cool out here. Yeah, I haven't, still haven't been this far north. We get yeah, more haven't? and more each time. <laughs> it's kind of fun out here. All right. Climb a little bit. Good. Okay, and then you're just going to set up for your power off stall, okay? All right, so we're coming in for a landing. Good. So we're going to cut the power back to 15. Uh, seven, yeah, 17. just take it back right now, right to 17, if you want. Give you some more time. I've already lost and, Yep, here. watch your altitude. If you bust that, yep, so you're almost there. Okay, keep going back up, please. Keep going back up. Traffic, now let's just do your C-Gumps checklist, okay? 
All right. Three miles west Let's get the plane all configured. All right, so we're going to get our carb heat on. Good. Gas is selected to the fuelest, fullest tank. Our Good. undercarriage is up. Well, it's still down. It's still we're, down. We're clean. Good. Uh, undercarriage, our mixture is set. We're going to go ahead and get this pump on. Okay. And then our seat belts. Seat belts and switches. And landing lights. Awesome. Okay, watch that altitude. Yep. Good. Just keep that nose pitch up. The easier trim, too. And use that to your advantage. Keep your nose up in the air if you're starting to descend. Also, a little bit more power will help you. And you're definitely within your flap range. We get up to 7,500. Right. Yep. Good. We'll stay at that. We'll say this isn't a check ride. All right. Cut it back. Okay. Yeah, out of your flaps. Remember those guys. All right. We are in flap range, so first notch. Good. Uh, do it pretty quickly. Oh, a little slower next time. You're good. No, you, you can do them quicker. You're fine. All right. We're we want to do them before we get to that 60 knots, because that's when we're going to start to... All right. So we're at 80, so second notch. Yep. And remember, we're focusing on the inside speed, so we're actually at 65. Oh, that's right. All right. And third notch. Good. All the way back. Hold this altitude. It's going to be hard. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. And wait for it to drop. When you feel the shaking, recover. Pull back. Okay. There you go. Awesome job. I uh, blew my altitude. No, that's okay. You're fine. Carb heat off. Carb heat off. Then just start climbing back up again. All right. Landing light off. Nope. Flaps first. Flaps then we'll first. do all that stuff. All right. So we got a positive rate of climb. Good. The first notch. Good. All right, second notch. Good. That uh, one really drops us. And positive rate all the way out. Good. Good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Then landing light and fuel pump. Now, let's head back towards Tooele. We're getting pretty far up north here. You can either make a right turn or a left turn. All right, left turn. Yep. And I'm going to have you try that one again, okay? Clearing traffic. Yep. Clearing turns, good. All right, so what did I do wrong on that one? Let's go through that. Um. Okay, so you picked your heading. That was great. Your altitude you adjusted for. Probably the altitude is one of the bigger things on that one. You drop about 150 feet, almost 200 feet. So you want to make sure that you adjust your trim so you can hold that altitude, okay? Okay. Um, and then as you are um, going along, when your flaps, when you're putting in those, I would like to put them in before we get to that 60 knots because if you're still, if you're at 60 knots and you're still putting flaps in, that airspeed is going to drop so much you're just going to go into a stall right away. Okay. So I like to have those all in and configured. Otherwise, you did really good. You okay. through your um, sea gums checklist perfectly. So let's just maintain that altitude this time and work on those flaps. Okay. Alrighty. Good. So think of it like 90 first notch, 80 second, 70 third. Perfect. That worked for you. That works great. Yeah. One